My name is Tina Cole Campbell. At my heaviest, I was 500.6 pounds, and today I'm 160 pounds. At my heaviest, I was eating anything that was around me, in front of me. I didn't care what it was. Ice cream, chips, um, whatever anybody brought from a fast food restaurant. You know, my health problems started at birth, basically, but they got really bad in 2003. I've been in respiratory failure and on a ventilator six different times. When I was 36, the doctors told me, you're not gonna live to be 40. And it took me a little while, you know, I was like, oh, woe is me, that sucks, let me just keep eating. Um, but as I realized what I was missing in my children's life when they were growing up, I thought, mm you know, you might have grandkids one day. Do you, you really do want to live? So that's when I decided to make some changes. And I was going to have gastric bypass surgery. I had seen a surgeon in Birmingham. And so he said, well, you need to lose about 50 pounds. You need to go to, um, you know, you need to go see a nutritionist, um, go to some group therapy with people who are also planning to do this so that you can talk about the way your body's going to change. And so when I finished my seven months of therapies and group sessions and seeing a nutritionist and weighing every month and losing about 50 pounds in seven months, I called the insurance and I found out that that was not going to be covered. And um, I threw a pity party for about three days, wallowed in my bed, uh, forgot everything that I had been doing the right way, um, everything that I had been eating. About the third day, there was an aha, get your butt out of bed and go back. You were already doing this. You were already losing weight. You've done this this much. Keep going. You can do this. And it was, it was just a God thing. So I got out of bed, wiped my tears, threw the trash food away, and went back to what I was, had, I knew worked for me. There's um, a county park about two miles north of where I live, and so I, I went up there and you know I, I got some Nikes and decided I'm gonna walk. And um, I got there and I made it, you know, maybe 50 feet the first day. And I was like, okay, get back to the car, drive home, take a nap. Um, but every day I try to go a little further as as much as my body would let me. And I've gradually worked up to where I walk anywhere from five to nine miles a day, typically around seven or eight miles a day. My health is a lot better. I have not been in the hospital since November of 2015. I'm making strides every day. It's progress over perfection. As long as I'm growing every day, I'm learning something every day, then I'm on the track that I want to be on.